Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Grand Austria Hotel. Let's get going with the second round. So, Jen is first out of the gate. And first of all, she gets to uh, get somebody. And who does she want? Hmm. Well, she's got two blue rooms. If she could fill both of these, she would complete this group. If she just fills one more yellow group, she'll complete this group as well. And two yellows is three on the Emperor track. And here's the thing, we gotta pay attention to the Emperor track because if by the end of the third round, we haven't climbed up high enough, he's gonna be very pissed at us. And in this game, he'll either take five victory points or make us get rid of our highest, and therefore our most valuable, unoccupied room. So, Jen doesn't have to be worried about that, but here's the thing, if she does this, she could, uh, she could take this single die and move up one on the track. That's not very exciting. The other thing, but Jen would love to do this because she could prepare four rooms but remember, she doesn't want to prepare more rooms until she hires this guy who makes it free to prepare all these red rooms. So now is not a good time to do that. So I think what she's going to do instead is she's going to grab this two. Oh, wait, no. Again. Ah! Right. She's got to get a person first. It drives me nuts. Um, it really is kind of annoying that this must be done before you grab the die because Jen and I, we almost always find we grab the die and then we want to grab But it, it doesn't matter. It's just... All right. So I think... Let's see. So Jen could take this guy for free. He'll give her a buck, and he's worth 10 points, the Reichsgraf. This one would only cost $1, it's only worth three points, but gives you three bucks and um, lets you, um, oh, immediately grab two more clients, two more guests. That's the symbol for grab a guest and don't pay anything. So you could grab guests who would normally cost you a lot of money. I think Jen's just gonna take this one though. So she can start working on clearing out these blues so she can get the big blue bonus, nine points. Okay, so Jen has gotten a client. Now she will take a die and she will pay one dollar to enhance that. So there were effectively four dice and that means she could take two wine and two coffee. Now she could take four wine and no coffee, three wine and one coffee or two and two, which is what she's gonna do. Or actually, hold on a second. Let's see, so the two coffee is gonna to go to this guy. Does she want two wine? Because she should pay attention to who's coming in the future. Um, does she want more wine or does she want more coffee sitting around? As you can see, actually, you know, oh, this guy wants wine and coffee. Coffee is harder to get though. Cake is harder to get and coffee is harder to get. So I think she will grab the coffee house can. The coffee, um, Right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Duh. All right. Okay. There's no question. She um, she needs the coffee because she wants to fill both of these spots, and that means she also has two wine that she can't use, which means probably next turn she's want to get this uh, the Baroness here because she wants a lot of wine, although she also wants coffee. So her first action was she grabbed a die, paid an extra, got four cubes worth two went in the kitchen, two went on there, and. Now, Jen could pay a dollar to move just this one cake over, but that's crazy. She'll wait on that a little bit, so her turn is done. And now it's my turn, and I get two turns in a row. And first of all, I can reserve some more. Let's see, although all these are reds, I don't have any red rooms available. That's kind of a bummer. Although, I could prepare rooms, and I, you know, I could prepare two red rooms for free, and then there's these reds. So let's go on ahead and get some of them. And let's just try and save our money. So let's go for one of the cheap ones. This guy wants coffee and cake. This guy just wants strudel and cake. Strudel and cake is going to be a little bit easier. Let's go on ahead and grab him. And he was free. And so everything slides down. Oh, another green. I definitely want that. By the way, the green, the tourists, they are all little sly in-jokes for board game fans. This is a reservation for Brother Uwe. And you might recognize it's um, you know, obviously Uwe Rosenberg, and this is a character from Aura et Labora. Um, so the tourists are all really, really cool. This is, um, I think this is... Uh, the uh, artist of the game, Franz. Uh, um, let's see. All right, anyway, sorry. So, sorry I got a little bit uh, carried away there. So, I, I recruit him, and now I'm gonna prepare some more rooms. I get to prepare up to four rooms. Very nice. And so, I will go on ahead and prepare this red and this red. So now I've got some rooms for this guy. Uh, I've got some money, so should I prepare better rooms? Let's see, I, what, what all do I have one of those things that makes it, no, I don't have any make it cheap to prepare rooms. So there's no reason for me not to go, like maybe I want to prepare this blue and this blue so I can have a set of four so I can move more blue people in. I can see there are blue people coming. 
And getting both these rooms filled, that's three points a piece. And if I get them all filled, then that's four, which is 15 points for having this entire set of four blues. So that's pretty good. All right, but that's getting expensive. That's going to cost me four bucks. One, two, three, four. I'm almost broke now, but I have readied two rooms on the second floor. It's a little crazy. We'll see how it goes. So that was my main action. I readied four rooms, and it cost me. But um, I'm setting myself up for the future because that'll be a big payday. Okay. So, and now what else do I want to do? Uh, I've, done, I've, done, I've done a reservation. I've done, my, I've done my action. I could spend my, but I've only got two things to deliver. That doesn't make much sense. So I think um, I'm going to take my next action now. So for my next action, I don't want to spend any more money. So I think I'm just going to get another one of these reds because I've got two red rooms. And uh, let's see, I think, do I want to go for the guy who wants lots of cake and strudel or the guy who wants cake, less cake, but also wants coffee? Hmm. Let's see, this was money and two. I think I'll take this one, which is gives me a wine and three bucks. All right, so there we go. And then everything slides down. So the blues are coming into position for me. Although really, I want greens, because remember, I get bonus points for seeding greens. Oh, shoot! I already seeded one green. I totally forgot, didn't I? Yes, I did. When I seeded uh, that tourist over there, I should have gotten two more points. Totally forgot about that special power. I'll also get two points when I seed this guy. Okay. So anyway, so now it's my second turn. And what do I want to do? Mm -hmm. well, I certainly don't want to prepare any more rooms. I need a lot of cake and strudel. But right now is not a good time to grab cake and strudel. One, two, three. If I do that, that would save me. That would guarantee because I'd be one, two, three. Yeah. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to take this single four. It's only one. That means I can take one dollar or I can get one. I'm going to get one favor with the king. And there's a reason for that. When, I, when, when we get to the end of the third round, wherever we are, we'll score that many victory points. And you can see, either way, I was going to score three points or three points. But after you get your points, the king is, you know, he's a very mercurial fellow. He's never really quite pleased. I have to move backwards three. So then, you know, if I was here and I moved backwards three, one, two, three, I would be in the doghouse and I would have to suffer a penalty. But now that I moved up here, when the king makes me move, or the emperor makes me move backwards three, one, two, three, I'll be in a spot where nothing bad will happen to me. So I've kind of saved myself from his wrath. So it's not the greatest move in the world, but it means I've just locked in. I don't have to worry. Now, if I move back to this neutral, I also won't get the free benefit from him, but I also won't suffer the penalty. So I've just saved myself. It wasn't the greatest move in the world, but I just don't want to have to worry about that emperor penalty. Right. So those are my two actions, and I think I'm done. So now it's back to Jen's turn. And now, Jen, remember, she was not really... Jen was not really that happy. She doesn't want to, I mean, she doesn't want to ready more rooms until she's got this guy hired. She can't hire anybody. She wants to start working her way up the emperor track as well because she realizes she doesn't want to suffer that penalty. But the dice, she does not like these dice. So here's something you can do. Jen is going to pass. Whenever you pass on one of your actions, then um, you basically are going to wait until everybody else is done. Now as it happens, I already am done. If I wasn't done, Jen would pass and then it would come back to me. I'd do my actions and then eventually Jen would get to go. But Jen is passing and it happens she's the last player. So the, this round is over, but if there's somebody who has passed, what happens is you take one of the remaining dice away and then you re-roll them and all the players who got to pass now get to uh, redo and Jen's hoping to see some fours or fives because that's really what she wants to focus on right now. She wants to see fours or fives. Right, that's a four, that's a five, that's a five, that's a six, that's a two and a three. That is a little bit more what she was looking at. I think Jen's happier with this. She's gonna take this five. So that means she gets a $2 discount to hire Mr. Red Room. All right, so that guy only cost her one, two, three. And so from now on, when Jen readies rooms, these red rooms will be free and that'll uh, work out quite nicely for her. So. That was it for Jen. She is done. I am done. We have finished the second round and now we're moving on to the third round. And Jen is a bit worried that she has not pleased the Emperor very much at all. It is a little bit scary, but we'll see how it works out. All right, so we put all the dice back. Oh, and ah, once again, I forgot. Also on Jen's turn, she should have, of course, gotten a guest. It's so easy to forget that. Which guest did she want to grab? 
I think she wants to grab another blue because if she can get all these blues done, she'll have finished that group. So I think, well, she could get this one for free or this one for one dollar. This one is much easier to do, but she has the wine to take care of that one. So she'll take this one for free. So first thing, she took a reservation. Then she, oh, that's right. When you pass, you can't take a reservation. So Jen passed and then she re-rolled, she got to go again and she grabbed a reservation and then um, did the, the, the hiring. Okay, so we're on to the third round and so once again, player order changes again. We're on the third round. This is the one when the, uh, can't, when the emperor, well, hopefully he'll be pleased. I know he's pleased with me. So let's see what we got. Six, two, two, three, two, four, five, five. No ones, no strudel or cake. Okay, and once again, I am the first player. Okay, so now what do I want to do? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Well, it'd be great if I could work my way up this track even more. Because if, I, let's see, how much would I have to go up? I, let's see, um, one, two, three. If I could get up to six, then that means when I drop three, I'd still be at three, and I could get the bonus, which is open up a room for free, and I could open up one of these top floor rooms, which would save me three bucks. But to do that, I would have to get up three more spaces on um, the Emperor's Good Graces. Now, if I get this guy seated, he's going to get me those three spaces I need. So, I think this turn, I want to focus on getting this reservation done. And how fortunate that it just so happens there's a bunch of twos. So, um, and now, first of all, I cannot take any more guests because I'm, I'm all full up in my cafe. So, first of all, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pay a dollar. So, it's as if there are four dice here. And that means I'll take two wine and two coffee. Now, like I said, coffee is hard to get. I'd rather take more coffee, but you can't take more coffee than wine. So, and all this wine, it doesn't do me any good, but the coffee, bippity bop. So, there's the coffee. And one more coffee, I can get him done, which will get me across the line to keep the emperor happy. All right, so, that was my first action. Now, if I wanted, I could spend a dollar and deliver some stuff to these other guys, but it's not like I'd get them done. In fact, actually, I wouldn't be able to deliver three because nobody wants wine right now, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to stop right there, particularly because I'm almost broke. So that was my first action. Now it's Jen's first action. And she's, boy, yeah, she, well, first of all, she can get a new reservation. Hmm. And yeah, she's really in trouble. She needs to climb, but there's only a single four. She could climb one, which would give her one point, but she's still gonna be in the doghouse. She needs to get to at least this far. One, two, three, four. She needs four. You know what, I don't think she can do it. She could, um, well, first of all, she's gonna take a reservation. She could take a reservation. This would get her three, but she'd have to get him served. And she doesn't have enough strudel to do that. I mean, we can't even pick up strudel. So I think Jen is just going to have to take her lumps. And the emperor is not going to be very pleased with her because she's not been, you know, paying tribute to the emperor like I have been up till now. So if Jen's going to ignore that, what is she going to do instead? Well, I, she wants to ready rooms because she's got her super ready room guy ready. So Jen is going to take this three. And I think she might even pay a buck. So it's really four. So Jen gets to ready four rooms. Every red room is free. So... One, two, that's two, but the, all right. So, and she'll pay $1 to ready this blue. That's three. And then four, she'll ready this room right here. And this gives her a victory point. All right. So that was pretty nice. And now she's got a lot of rooms ready, but not much clientele. But you know what? We're only in round three. There's still four more rounds after this to get more clientele, get them served, and get them into these rooms. Because the rooms by themselves, are, are they, they give you nothing, except for these ones. You know, these ones give you a point, but you need to get people in these rooms for them to be worth anything at the end of the game. But still, Jen just readied, what was it? Um, uh, let's see, it costs two, four, uh, Jen just got um, five bucks worth of rooms ready for one dollar. So she's pretty happy with that. And now she gets to go again. Oh, wait. Uh, why do I keep forgetting to take clients? Okay, so before Jen took her die, she should have taken a client. Which one does she want to take? Well, she wants to get these higher rooms filled. So I think she'll go on ahead and take this red because it didn't cost anything. And, um, you know, and then everybody came down. Or, hold on a second. 
if she gets this green, it would cost her one, but she knows I want that green pretty bad. And that green can go into a red as well. So I think she'll spend a buck and instead grab this green that I really wanted because she doesn't want me to get two points for getting him in a room. All right, plus, you know, it gives her flexibility and it'll get her eventually three points on the Emperor track. All right, so that was her first action. Now for her second and last action. What is she uh, gonna do? Um, let's see, she's got that. She, she could pay a buck and get all of the, and you know, get a bunch of stuff delivered to make a dollar, hire somebody for uh, three, or, so she just get this one and this would be half done. She could pick up some more wine and coffee uh, or she could raise some more rooms. So she's up to this one now. She could ready that room, but she'll wait on that till later. Cause right now she could ready two rooms, but yeah, so there's only, yeah, I don't know if she wants to do that. There's no reason to really climb. She could also pass. She could pass and wait for the dice to be re-rolled and maybe get something better. She could hire somebody. She's down to two bucks though. Hmm. You know what? I think she's going to pass. Jen's going to pass again. She wants to wait and see if there, see what the reroll happens. So Jen will basically pass. And now it's back to me. And so, you know what? I think I'm going to pass as well. Because I say, I definitely want to get this guy served. Although I, I don't have to pass. I could just go on ahead and take this. And that would give me one wine and one coffee. The wine doesn't go anywhere, but the coffee would go here. Yeah, I'll just do the simple. I, I mean, because who knows? Maybe when we re-roll, there would be no twos, and then I'd really be screwed. So I'm just going to, you know, take the bird in the hand. I got a wine and a coffee, and I've completed Bauer Franz. That got me four points. One, two, three, four. And since he's green, two more because of my special power. And let's see. Now, he moves me up three more. One, two, three. And... His, special, his other special thing is, he is so important, he takes two rooms. So, I get to flip the room he's going in and one more. So, I will flip, the, he's green, he can go anywhere, I'll flip this one, and I'll flip this one, and boom, I've filled up these two very highfalutin rooms with this guy. That's six points right there, and now if I just get one more filled, I will have completed this group. So that's very, very nice. Okay. And that was it for me. And now, Jen, we come back to her. She's passed, so she's going to re-roll. Let's see what she gets. Three, two, three, five, two, three. Wow, that is not what she wanted. She just does not want to prepare rooms right now. Um, she could go and just go ahead and get some coffee and cake. Or she could roll again. I mean, she'd really like to get, you know, a whole bunch of twos. So, because, I mean, she needs a lot of coffee and a lot of wine as an example. So that'd be really, really great for her. But instead, she got a lot of room prep, which she doesn't want to do because she's already spent a lot of time on room prep. She's going to pass again. She wants to see a lot of twos. Show me twos. This is a bit risky because she turned down a perfectly good roll because she's hoping for something better. This maybe is too risky. I don't think Jim would do this in real life, but what the heck. Let's have some fun. Two. No twos. A five, a five, a one, a four, and a three. All right, so now Jen's getting really scared. I don't think she could toss another die, but she better just go for that hiring action. Let's see. So she's going to do a hiring. That's going to get her a $2 discount, which means she could get this one for free. How much money does she have? She only has two bucks. So she could get this guy for $1 or this guy, and that would give her a lot of wine. Yeah, okay, she'll take this guy, and it's free because he costs two. Now he is all another one-time use. Jen gets four wine, one, two, three, four. Two of it automatically gets delivered. So the Baroness is happy, the rest goes. Now, but at the end of the game, any cubes you haven't delivered and any money you have left over is worth a point apiece. So Jen effectively just scored four points, but more importantly, she's closer to getting that Baroness done. All right. And, um, right, and so both of these were basically one-time uses. She'll never use them again. That's her thing. And so she's done. Right. Unless, ah, uh, she, she could pay a, a dollar and serve. She could get that in, and she could get that. She'd serve two things, and she'd get this guy done, which would give her a buck and ten points. But that just doesn't make sense, because he can't serve any of this wine, so she'll wait on that. So, she is done. Right, that's the end of the third round. Okay, and it's time to score the Emperor. I get five points. One, two, three, four, five. Jen gets zero points, because she didn't spend any time with the Emperor. And now, we both drop three. Jen can't drop any further. I drop one, two, three. And now, because I'm still in the Emperor's good graces, 
I get to prepare one room free of charge. And you better believe I'm gonna do one on the top floor. I'll do this red one up here because it also gives me two points and it saves me three bucks. So I just scored one, two more and I've got uh, the best room in the house ready to go for maybe one of these reds there. And Jen, meanwhile, she's in the doghouse, so she has to suffer the penalties. Um, and she basically has to lose one of her highest level rooms or pay five bucks. She's not gonna give up five points. The nice thing is, these rooms didn't cost her anything. So she'll go on ahead and lose this room, and then she'll get it again later, and I think get another point. I'm not sure about that. So it's not that bad. So Jen kind of turned uh, lemons into lemonade. So she'll lose that, which she got for free anyway, so it didn't really hurt her very much. And so the emperor, to heck with the emperor, I don't care. But now we move on to round four. All the dice come back. We change turn order. Jen will be first. And what do we got? Two turntables and a microphone. That's where it's at. What you got? Oh, wow. So Jen's first. She can get a huge discount on hiring. $4 off. I mean, she can't say no to that. She's got to do it. Um, yeah, this is whenever she uh, books a room that's a dollar, or uh, also known as a point. And it would only cost her $1 to get this guy. Wow. It'd be wasteful to do this because she wouldn't get any extra money back. She could do this. Yeah, I think she's got to do that. So she did that. This guy costs $1. Okay, so that's her third staff member. And, um, you know, she's not really getting any of the stuff she needs to get done done, but that was just too good an opportunity to pass up. And then it comes back over to me, and I'm going to take two turns in a row. I haven't even started taking care of these guys. I don't have any... I have one strudel and one cake. I need all the strudel and cake in the universe. And there's no strudel and cake. But I do get to take, so I think I'll take this red guy, since there's no green guys out. Because I want to fill up all these red rooms. Although, hold on a second. I want to fill up those red rooms. But I also need to fill up this blue room. So I think I'll do this one instead so I can get this blue group done. Has Jen gotten any groups done? No, she just has not been filling her hotel. She's been doing other stuff. So anyway, so I grab that and then a new one comes out. And so I could ready more rooms. I think I'm good enough for rooms for a while. I could hire some employee. I mean, $3, that's not a bad. Um, wow, I could get a whole bunch of strudel if I hire this person. And one, two, three, I'd fill all my strudel needs immediately, but I'd still have to fill the cake needs and cake is harder to get than strudel. Um, this is, uh, for the rest of the game, whenever I deliver stuff from my kitchen out to people, it doesn't cost me anything, so that's nice. This is whenever I take three or four actions, I get two points. And this is, for the rest of the game, every round, I get one coffee. Although, that's four coffee, but coffee is hard to get. I'm pretty tempted to do that. But you know what? I have a lot of options. We're only in round four. We have to worry about round five, where we're going to drop five times. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna, we're both going to be in the doghouse with the emperor. And you know, I was so close to getting up to ten. Do I just want to redouble my efforts to get up the emperor? Although, I can only move up one. Maybe I want to pass and re-roll, and I can get a bunch of fours and work my way back up. I don't know. But you know what? We've just scratched the surface, you, but you have a pretty good idea of what this game is all about. There's so many exciting options, so much cool stuff going on. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can uh, hit the I or go to the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.